Joining us on the Sports Wrap desk is Leroy Reynolds, linebacker for the Jacksonville Jaguars, a former UVA Cavalier, but most importantly, from right here in Hampton Roads, a graduate of Maury High School. So, Leroy, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, as we were talking about just a moment ago, your attire is a little dusty right now. You got your hands dirty today, not quite looking uh, as dapper, <laughs> but tell us why. You were working with Habitat for Humanity uh, this afternoon, so tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, we actually just got finished. Uh, we just drove over here, um, and uh, Habitat for Humanity, to say, uh, we, we, we renovated a home today out in Suffolk. Um, so Mark Johnson and Wayne Lavender on the exec board for Habitat for Humanity. Um, came together this week, uh, thought of a, you know, a great, you know, plan to just base it around the Super Bowl uh, mm -hmm. and, and you'll have me at, you know, home, the home front, giving back to the community uh, and Kelly Davis did a great job um, putting all the PR stuff together. The, yeah. And, you know, it was, it was one of those opportunities, you know, I felt I needed to take hold of um, just being around great people um, and I really enjoyed it today. I did. And really the theme of the day was giving back. You're now playing in the NFL, you're making a good amount of money, but you're giving others the opportunity to lead a good life with a good home, starting with a good home. So you're from Norfolk, now you're working in Suffolk today. How important is it to give back to your community? Oh, it's extremely important. Uh, you know, I love being from here, I love being from Virginia. And I think, you know, I'm grateful and I'm blessed to be in the position I am today. So just being able to give back and inspire someone and. and and make someone's life better is definitely something I, I look to do every day. And I think I always told myself the first step to being a leader is learning how to serve. Um, and, you know, I'm grateful to be able to do that. What was your upbringing like in Norfolk? And given that, how, how important was it? You kind of answered it a second ago, but going back to it, given your upbringing, how important is it to give back to your community? Oh, it's extremely important. Um, I've always wanted to just be able to inspire someone, uh, be a light in someone's life to, to know that you know the, the position you are in now can always change, um, and you know I'm extremely blessed to just give back and come back and show people that you know I I love being from here and I love being a part of you know our community, the seven cities, and uh, my dad and, and my mom you know great parents brought me up in Norfolk. My dad uh, retired from the military and my mom just. Uh, you know, providing for the home uh, as a daycare provider. She, they did a great job, you know, raising me up, you know, teaching me everything I needed to learn. And, you know, they were servants of the community also, you know, giving back to the community, uplifting people, always being there for people, um, always having an open door. So it was just something that, you know, was instilled in me at a young age. This is what I seen. But you got your hands dirty today. But we yeah. were talking about yeah. that, uh, yeah. you know, linebackers, they like to get their hands dirty. Mm -hmm. And speaking of being a linebacker, you're a linebacker in the NFL now. So what's life been like first year, your rookie season? Oh, it was, it was, it was a great experience. Um, and, and I enjoyed every moment of it. Uh, I learned a lot. I would say that it was definitely a learning experience where, you know, you, you, you're battle tested and you go through so much. But we have great leaders. Uh, it, it's just one of those things where you just... It's, it, over, it overwhelms you, but then, you know, you realize how blessed you are and you just take it all in. And, and that's, you know, I had the, the chance to do that, just to do something I love. And I gained a lot of uh, appreciation for it, you know, understanding that you get to wake up every day and do something you love. It's truly phenomenal. Now, the NFL is always about making a name for yourself, and you kind of did that in week <laughs> 17. I think we all know what, you're, what we're talking about yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, week 17. You were playing on special teams at the time, mm -hmm. and your helmet just comes flying off, and still you decided to make a tackle. So as many times as you've been asked this, I'm going to ask it again. <laughs> Take us through that play and just what in the world you were uh, thinking. Well, uh, actually, the guy I was going against, we went to college together, uh, Cam Johnson, and like during the play, you know, he didn't purposely do it, but my helmet came off. And I thought he maybe thought I was going to stop, but, you know, I froze for a second. I just had to keep going. Uh, and I told myself after the play, like, if I would have stopped, then it, it would have looked bad. So and I just had to keep going. And, you know, the, once I got, like, to the end of the play, I was like, I don't have a helmet on. I, and I'm, like, looking around. But, you know, then I just ran in, jumped in, and uh, jumped on the tackle. But, you know, it was just adrenaline. Um, and it's a mentality, I say. Uh, I try to, you know, downplay it. But it's really a mentality that, and I just, I love the game of football. Uh, I enjoy, I enjoy playing it. And if it takes for me to run in and hit somebody without a helmet, I'll do it. Uh, and that's just the type of guy I am. Last weekend of the season mm -hmm. is Sunday. 
It would be the Seahawks and the Denver Broncos. Now, you actually have teammates and friends on both yeah. sides. You got Cam Chancellor, Virginia Tech grad, mm -hmm. but also went to Maury. I think you said that you were a freshman when yeah. he was a senior. And then you have Vincent Painter on the other side, a mm -hmm. offensive lineman. So you kind of have a conflict of interest here. You're really not sure which side to root for. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> um, and, you know, my hat goes off to both of those guys. They worked extremely hard. Um, just starting with Cam, and he's – He's a leader, a humble leader, and he just did a phenomenal job just showing us the way, uh, showing that it's possible to make it from our high school, you know, and, and continue to go into college to be successful and be successful in the NFL. And, you know, I've always followed that motto, always, always follow his, you know, footsteps, just seeing, you know, doing the things that he did, uh, you know, working out, coming back, you know, showing us that, you know, he still cared. Uh, and just being a part of the community, like giving back to the community so much. So I know he's going to do a great job, you know, this weekend at the Super Bowl. Uh, he's ready. I know he's ready. I went out to uh, Seattle two weeks ago when they played the Saints. And, you know, just having the conversations, you know, with them about, you know, football, life, I can tell that he has his head on straight and he, he's ready to bring the trophy home. And I'm extremely happy for both of those guys. Uh, you know, I know Cam's going to do a great job and Vince also. And I look forward to seeing it. I mean, I just know that the home team is going to win either way. Uh, with one of those guys bringing the trophy home. So, you know, I'm, I, I mean, I'm happy for him. I can't let you off that easily. <laughs> uh, I have to make you make a prediction. I so see, you I have see. the Seahawks, the number one defense mm -hmm. against the Denver Broncos, the number one offense. Peyton Manning, but Cam's going to be back there. Hey, Percy Harvin from Virginia Beach. Yeah, He'll yeah. be catching passes from Russell Wilson from Richmond. You talk about a lot of local guys VA, in this one. VA. But – you have to make a prediction. Who's it going to mm. be? I'm going for the, I'm going for the home home team. I gotta go. I gotta go with Seattle. Uh, only because, like you said, you just named three Virginia guys: yeah. uh, Cam, Percy, Russell Wilson. Um, it's only right. I, I, you know, and you know, Cam being the guy I always looked up to, I gotta go for him because I know how bad he wants it. And if he sees this and I didn't go for him, you know, it'd be a, <laughs> it'd be a problem. So. <laughs> And you, I don't want any of those problems. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going for Seattle. Last thing, who's the harder hitter, you or Cam? <laughs> Me. Easy. Wow. All right. <laughs> Taking ownership, the linebacker Gratis. Gratis. over yeah. the safety. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there it is, Leroy Reynolds. And, Leroy, we really right. appreciate you. you for the Thank time. Yes, we hope you, you enjoy the Super Bowl. Remember, you can catch the Super Bowl right here on Fox 43. Kickoff is at 620.